Hello everybody. So today's topic is types of WBC. So what is WBC? WBC stands for white blood cells. We know that blood is composed of cells and plasma. In cells there are RBCs or known as red blood cells, WBCs, white blood cells and platelets. So WBCs are white blood cells also known as leukocytes. Normal count of glucosides in our body is 6000 to 8000 mm per mm cube. 6000 to 8000 mm per cube. Now, if this number increases, We call it as leukocytosis. If this number decreases, we call it as leukopenia. So in, in this case, in case of leukocytosis, it is a normal phenomena. It may increase in the uh, cases of bacterial or viral infections. And it may naturally decrease in the cases of HIV, AIDS, typhoid, so when there is abnormal increase in number of WBCs, abnormal increase in number. We call it as leukemia, as we can see in blood cancer. So now coming to types. On the basis of presence of granules, WBCs are basically classified into agranulocytes and granulocytes. granulocytes and agranulocytes. So what are the general features? Granulocytes as the name says consists granules which can be stained by specific dye Their nucleus is generally multilobed. Hence, they are also known as polymorph WBCs. Polymorph or polymorphonuclear. Coming to agranulocytes, they don't have granules. Nucleus is usually single lobed. Hence known as mononuclear WECs. So coming upon the the granulocytes and agranulocytes are further uh, are of many types. First we will talk about granulocytes. So these are 
neutrophils eosinophils and basophils and talking about agranulocytes we have lymphocytes and monocytes now we'll be talking about each and every type of wbcs individually first we'll start with neutrophils first and foremost important point for neutrophils is that they are multilobed we can say they contain 2 to 5 lobes if we see the diagram we'll see these are the lobes of the nucleus five lobed and its cytoplasm consists of granules which are violet or pink in color granules so this is the most abundant in our body around 60 to 65% of total count their size is 10 to 12 microns and now coming to function they are phagocytic in nature uh phagocytic in nature means uh, whenever any part, uh, bacteria or virus comes inside our body neutrophils are activated they identify that bacteria or the virus and uh, they destroy them by engulfing them through the uh, process of phagocytosis okay these are also known as micropolismen of blood okay so this was all about neutrophils now next talking about eosinophils also known as acidophils as the name suggests they are acid loving which means that they can be stained by acidic dye good acidophils itself indicates acid and phils means loving so these are acid loving and they can be stained by acidic dye they constitutes of about 2 to 3% of total wbc count or tlc 2 to 3% and uh, how do they appear the nucleus is usually bilobed so they have bilobed nucleus so this is its nucleus having two lobes so we saw that neutrophils can also have two to five lobes and eosinophils also have two lobes both are granulocytes so how will we differentiate among the two so um, in neutrophils we saw that there were pink granules and coarse granules whereas in eosinophils we'll see that uh, eosinophils have red red granules red or orange granules and fine granules
रेड और ऑरेंज ग्रेन्यूल्स सो साइज इज अराउंड टेन टू फोर्टीन माइक्रॉन्स स्टेन विद एसिडिक डाई शेप ऑफ न्यूक्लियस इज बाइलोब नाउ इट्स फंक्शन they protect against allergy allergic reactions or any parasite any parasitic infection so increased number of eosinophils known as eosinophilia it is seen in allergic conditions like hay fever so this was all about uh, eosinophils now we'll be talking about basophils so basophils are the type of wbcs uh, we have studied these are types of granulocytes but these are the cells which are present in the least amount in our body for about 0.5 to 1 percent of total leukocyte count, and they have an S-shaped nucleus, two to three lobes. If we'll draw the draw the diagram, we'll see. So nucleus. Which is S shaped, and uh, it is also granulocyte, so it will have granules in its cytoplasm. What is its function? It secretes and transport. heparin histamine and serotonin so basically basophils uh, facilitate the uh, release of mast cells basophils secretes and transport the heparin histamine and serotonin so next type we have monocyte talking about monocytes uh, we'll draw, draw its diagram so the nucleus of monocyte is kidney shaped kidney shaped nucleus and clear cytoplasm with no granules it constitutes of total 6 to 8% of total leukocyte count and they are also known as scavengers of blood why are they called scavengers of blood because they engulf the damaged and dead bacteria or uh, dead cells by phagocytosis they are known as macropolismen of blood as we uh, first we saw that macropolismen of blood was neutrophils uh, similarly macropolismen of blood is monocytes now the last type of wbcs are lymphocytes talking about its shape they have a large centrally placed nucleus
due to which the cytoplasm is less and becomes peripheral. So now lymphocytes uh, consists of 20 to 20 percent of total leukocyte count. Uh, now coming upon uh, two types of lymphocytes, lymphocytes can are also of two types. B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes. Then B lymphocytes, they produce antibodies. Then T lymphocytes are further of the following types. T killer cells which kill the microbes then T suppressor cells they suppress T killer cells so what does T suppressor cells do? So basically if the T killer cells are not stopped from action, it may not identify between uh, the cells of our body and foreign cells. So the T uh, killer cells need to be suppressed by any other cells and uh, these are suppressed by T suppressor cells. Then T helper cells. They activate T cells and T killer cells. So this, this was all about the types of WBCs. Thank you so much for watching the video.